Police say they have a DNA hit now to link two murders just a few blocks apart. They had always suspected the killings were connected because one of the victims was a homeowner who walked in on burglars in his house. The other was a burglar. News 13 Scott Daniels is live in Santa Fe to explain. Scott? Santa Fe police believe David Martinez ran with the group of burglars while he was alive and that he or someone in that group killed a man who walked in on them as they were stealing from him. That was in February when 34-year-old Ethan Boyer, who was a community volunteer and owned a graphic design company, was shot and killed inside his Santa Fe home after coming home from work. Police have not made an arrest in that murder. A couple weeks later, David Martinez was shot and killed just a few blocks away. The body was dumped in a neighboring park. His brother, Felix Martinez, admitted to shooting him at their home with the help of Sam Leba, a man police consider to be another serial burglar. They've been in jail since then. Santa Fe police have been trying to link the two murders together since March to solve Boyer's case. Santa Fe detectives sifted through garbage at the Martinez home and in a landfill looking for evidence. They say what they found at a waste processing plant helped link the two murders, but the DNA evidence found outside Boyer's home can place David Martinez there. We know that David Martinez was right in the direct vicinity of the Boyer residence. Do we know if he was inside the house and if he had direct correlation to Mr. Boyer's death? No, that, that question hasn't been answered. Police will not tell us what that DNA evidence is from. All they'll say it was something that Martinez was wearing. Back to you. Okay, Scott, the next step for police is to find out exactly who was inside Boyer's home, and they think this piece of evidence will help them.